this is the thing everyone is talking about. I'm <laughs> bringing you here the new four-cylinder engine for the Mercedes C43. So the C-Class as the new AMG version and this is the strongest four-cylinder from series production. 408 horsepower from a two-liter four-cylinder engine plus a mild hybrid boost so to speak and also supposed to be more efficient from with this mild hybrid system. And the interesting thing is here, they put Formula One technology in there. Look at this here. This is the turbocharger and it is electrically powered. So it has no turbo lag at all, but can deliver the turbocharging at all times, even at low RPMs. This is supposed to be the advantage and acceleration figure will be something around four and a half second, seconds, so faster than the actual six cylinder. But what about all the visual parts? Look at that here. We have the typical AMG front grille, vertical fins here. And if you pick the night package, then you can also see they are also even darkened out. Also in the lower part right here. So a very strong front styling. And you can also see the power uh, dome structure here. Or these, you know, design elements that make a very, very strong appearance. Almost looks like a grown up E-Class AMG now, doesn't it? Headlamps, LED or optional, the so-called digital light and also with projecting, projecting functions here for the high beam. 4 meters 75 or 178 inches is the length of this new C-Class generation. Here the AMG model has bigger wheels from 18 to 20 inch. These are the biggest 20 inch and they have this additional aerodynamic element. You cannot take them out, but they are here for some weight, safety, uh, weight savings as well massive styling. Then also you have all the black elements but only optional when you have this night package. You would just get them in chrome as standard. We can also check it out at the estate model we have also on location right here. Then here with the night package we also have the black mirror caps. Overall a more sinister styling. And interesting is you might say ah you know that four cylinder here for this one the six cylinder is gone but one thing is still pretty much classic or let's say conservative or maybe proven, that is the all-way drive. It's still a rear-wheel driven platform and this one has a very classic all-way drive system with a standard distribution of 70% in the rear and 30% in the front and this will stay the same. So there's no like, oh, we have front-wheel drive now and optional rear-wheel drive or something. No, this is still a strong rear wheel bias. So many things to discover here at the rear. First of all, beginning in the top part, this additional lip here, which is stronger than here in the AMG version. In the secondary night package, also the rear Mercedes logo is in this dark chrome style. Pretty cool, isn't it? The rear lamps stress the width of the vehicle with a modern LED signature. And lower part, diffuser style, really massive and one, two, three, four exhaust pipes. Really? <whistles> the Audio Fuel fake exhaust police is not missing anything. Fake exhaust alias here, definitely on Audio Fuel with Thomas. Yeah, because when you look on the inside, there are two pipes, and then they also have an exhaust valve, but the outside part, yeah, there the designers just wanted to have some play around with. Hmm, <laughs> about that. But on the technology side, this is very interesting. They have the rear axle steering with the C-Class AMG, 2.5 degrees. The rear wheels can turn in the opposite direction than the front wheels. This makes the car more agile, fakes, so to speak, a shorter wheelbase. And interesting here, the threshold where it changes from opposite steering of the rear axle to parallel steering with the front wheels is way higher in the AMG version here, the C43. The threshold is at 100 kilometers or 60 miles an hour. That means up to a speed of 100 kilometers or 60 miles an hour, you get the full effect of this really super agile driving experience and also reduces the turning circle. And one more time, how the engine looks like inside. Here, once again, this new Formula One technology turbocharger. And I can really tell you when you drive this one at night and you had put a lot of <laughs> power in it, this will actually glow. This will be very interesting, just from the heat. And then here you can see this crossbar or dome strut. You can see here 
from dome to dome and you know beyond there there and then you know the the springs and this increases the stiffness overall this is an extra feature here for the AMG model here once again the visualization of the four cylinders we have to see it in the driving review coming up very soon how this one performs will be more fun or less fun than with the six cylinder of course you can always argue if you have more or higher displacement and less horsepower this will be better for the engine AMG says they have experience with the four cylinders from the A45, for example, and there so far they didn't have any more engine failures or something. That's at least what they say. Looking forward to your opinion on this one. Well, I like white vehicles, but there's one color I like even better, Thomas Blue. Mercedes calls it spectral blue. <laughs> you can see here a very strong, bright blue tone. In this case here with the estate model, or as we say in Germany, the T model, Listen and repeat, T-Model. <laughs> well, when I would speak German, I would say T-Model. So it's T-Model in German then, yeah. Okay, that's the German lesson for today. And we can see here, once again, that's typical style we've seen before, but here we do not have this night package. And there we have the chrome elements in the lower part. Also inside the front grille, the small accentuations, and even more visible than when we come towards the side. Here, by the way, we have the 19-inch wheels, but that fits very well, you know. So if we want a little bit more dampening comfort, stick with 18 or 19-inch wheels. 19 is a good compromise between the looks and the comfort, I think. But here, standard would be also chrome around the windows. And it's really the question of this one has sportiness already, but it has a little bit more elegance, doesn't it? You know, the other one looks then a little bit more sinister. As for suspension, by the way, it always comes with an adaptive AMG suspension, it means with a stiffer trim, but it always adapts according to the driving mode and it gets a little bit stiffer or softer comfort mode, sport mode, and so on. Towards the rear here for the T model or for the estate or the wagon, so many words for these ones, right? You can see here horizontally drawn tail limbs. That's also quite new for the estate model. And of course it has this typical, you know, rather hatch style, there the sedan is a little bit more elegant and once again no night package, then you have typical Mercedes style in chrome and also the yeah, fake exhaust are also in chrome. This is the car key, mm, it's indeed premium but also for the door closing sound, you know this is always a tough test here on auto fuel. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Then inside of the doors soft touch materials. Oh, this is cool, the backlighting here. Mm, blue ambient lighting, that's really nice. Ah, but what we see in new Mercedes model is that this is one button. I mean, I can't believe it. Like this is the same button than on the other side. It's like, why do they do that? Cost savings, of course. But they say design reasons. Okay, then here you control the seat. Um, once again, no haptic feedback in these newer versions. I like it more when you could also move it. Burmester sound system, also available for the C-Class, has one of the best 3D sounds on the market. But of course, expensive option, but if you're a music lover, you need it. By the way, look at the seat here in the lower part. This always looks nice, right? I mean, it can... doesn't only look nice, it also looks maybe a little bit vulgar, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, yeah, but talking about the seat, you can see this is a special sports seat. It's the optional bucket-alike seat with weight savings because you can reach through there, so um, is it maybe also a little bit more ventilated for this reason? I don't know. The standard seat would already look sporty. Ah, is already a sport seat, but this one then is the optional one. Both, at least in Germany, in some European markets, you can also get with microfiber on the inside and leatherette article on the outside. For US and UK markets, um, the choices are usually a little bit limited, at least at this moment. I hope they change that. Um, yeah, in reviews, it's always practical when you have the seat controls here because then Jonas is standing there filming me and then now I have to uh, 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 and then control the seat right here. So the seating comfort itself, these are AMG seats. And if you want a normal C-Class seat, you will have more comfort. These here are pretty stiff. Very stiff indeed. Surprisingly stiff, especially the side bolstering. So I would say for the racetrack, it's good. However, if you want more the compromise of an everyday racer, then, and this is what the C43 especially is. What did I do now? Is that hashtag capacitive BS buttons? Probably I touched something. 
<laughs> so back to the 43. This is like the everyday racer, you know. And there I want more the compromise between comfort and sportiness. I would stick with the base. Sport seats will be more comfortable. Then steering wheel up and down. You also have here microfiber at the side. You can get that one. This is of course pretty cool. And the size of a steering wheel and how you can handle it. I really love that. Then two spoke design. Yeah, these capacitive buttons you get along with them over time, but it's less good to control or worse to control than the predecessor where you could move things actually. Then what's also interesting is um, at the steering wheel we have these new controls even animated here. Look at that. And then we can have here, you know, change the settings what we want to do. Um, you see on off something like this on the right side the driving modes this is the most practical thing that you can directly change the driving modes at the steering wheel this is of course a very helpful feature then and then with the instruments there are different stylings available um, this is all, by the way a prototype vehicle so maybe some things will you know final stage look a little bit different but we get the idea here for example you have sporty gauges or you can also go for more classic ones and of course if you want that also the GPS all over. The Mercedes designer asked the project leader how much ambient lighting do you want to have he said yes <laughs> you can see here inside the vents which have clicking sounds that's nice and also here I love the ambient lighting. You know, it does split opinions also here towards the inside of the doors and so on. And then here at the backlight, I love it, especially in Thomas Blue, definitely. And what about you? Some say it's distracting, but I would just say like, ah, oh, come on, it just rocks, right? This is the thing I love. And here the AMG, the C43 gets the carbon fiber, for example, as, an, as one option, as a deco element. However, not here as for the central piano lacquer thing. And I mean, I usually do not have greasy fingers at all um, but I even I can leave some greasy fingerprints on this one um, yeah and of course scratches and so on this will look bad quite easily actually hmm however what's cool with the AMG model they standard go for the bigger screens here the 11.9 inch vertical screen usually is a smaller one with a base C class and left side also 12.3 inch the bigger ones directly come as standard. Let's take a closer look at the screen right here. You have the climate control right here. So this will stay in the same area. And then you have the main menu right here. The map is right here. And yeah, it seems actually quite responsive. And then you have AMG Performance Badge. This will be you know different. This is the prototype stage, it's not finalized yet. So here you can see all the power and so on. So some special features also here at track pace when you go to the racetrack for example you can um, take lap times then on different uh, you know but yeah it's maybe just a little bit more playing around who will actually use that. Lower part once again this is one button and then you have an AMG field so to speak. Look at that when I press this everything shakes like from left to right the whole thing. So when you press this one then you can go to these um, mode settings but you can see I can also change that here in the driving mode selector at the steering wheel and you can see how the different parameters of drivetrain, suspension and um, AMG driving dynamics change. Um, oh there's another German lesson for the day so I haven't said it to English yet. Antrieb is drivetrain. Listen and repeat. Antrieb for drivetrain. Underneath the fingerprint magnet you have here this opening then. Cup holders they can also be adaptified. <laughs> then you have USB-C chargers, inductive charging pad. However, they always use this rubber mats here, and when you put your smartphone on there, you kind of like... I don't know, it, it's, it doesn't really stick to the, to the base pattern, you know? So um, it is meant to be that you can take them out for cleaning, but then again, they should be stickier somehow to stick around yeah and then you can have this split opening right here I always love this split you know um, epic split <laughs> Van Damme will know and here then the USB-C chargers two more damn you cup holders they have some addictive functionality um, you just tend to play around with them because you can fold them up and then here like this split and everything feels kind of interesting so yeah really addictive um, playing function but yeah Maybe I'm just creepy. I'm sticking to my opinion. 
Ambient lighting points 15 out of 10. <laughs> here also uh, alongside the ceiling here and yeah but then points 2 out of 10 for another hashtag capacitive BS because here the slider for the panoramic roof it's harder to control than with something you can really press actually and this uh, the panoramic roof that can be opened actually like this and for hot summer days we can then also you know apply another dark shade dark fade dark shade dark shade Welcome to the rear part. This C-Class generation has more legroom now. However, these sport seats are, uh, you know, just more voluminous in this area. So you lose legroom with the C43 AMG model indeed. You might have realized I'm sticking to the naming C43 AMG. I'm somehow reluctant in this respect because the official of course Mercedes minus AMG 43 AMG. Isn't that weird? Doesn't it just sound cooler when it says Mercedes C43 AMG? Right, right, right? Tell me in the comments if you support me on this. <laughs> and then here, big middle console uh, and big middle tunnel here in this case, of course, because it's a rear wheel or an all wheel driven model. Then you have this one button. Why? Look at that. It, it's one button. Like every single function is one button. It looks clean and you can wipe it clean. Maybe um, they can argue with. COVID disinfection reasons or something <laughs> for that. Um, yeah, but other than that, okay. Here, um, the comfort is actually quite good. The only thing is headroom-wise, with 1 with 86 or 6 with 1, I do hit my head here. So um, this is the disadvantage of the sedan then, indeed. And when you have the animal skin pack, I think these edges here will, after a while, look a little bit uh, weird. There's a security guy watching us all the time. Maybe he's like afraid of the other fuel fake exhaust police. That might be the reason. Let's continue anyway with the trunk. Let's open it here, electric hatch. And a meter or 40 inches in length and width. Yeah, that's also a meter or 40 inches, at least here. Then it gets a little bit narrower towards there. However, we have a nice function. We can fold the seats from here. And for a sedan, this is really unusual and they directly fold flat. So. Indeed, for a sedan, maybe that's the best sedan folding mechanism we've seen ever, indeed. 1 meters 85 or 73 inches, so your race car is also suitable for some luggage. And if you want more than 455 liters, you might want to go with 490 liters with the estate. And here we are with the estate, of course, electric hatch. Here we go, and the length is the same with a meter or... 40 inches as well as the width right here a little bit miss more space here indeed but here then it gets you know the same but of course here the loading height this is the main difference so there you have your family performance car with a 70 centimeters or 28 inches in height and when i put the backpack in here you see that it's backpack sorry the cabin trolley it easily also fits underneath this cover right there and well, already the sedan had this nice folding mechanism. More so the estate right there is ideal. And a nice sophisticated functionality is, look at that. This seat here is, you know, way back then. But when I fold the seats, no matter if from the trunk or from here, look at that, how it drives forward. There we go. So this is the function then when it would be too far back, you know, it would hit there and would stay like this. And then it folds down when it's, been driven forward a little bit. It's very nice that they thought of that. What about the headroom here in the rear now in the estate? <laughs> it goes back again. So with one means A6 or six with one, I did have problems with the estate uh, with the sedan. Here now in the estate, I can even put a hand over my head, although this is also equipped here with a panoramic roof. So what about you? Are you team four cylinder or team six cylinder? Tell me in the comments and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so far. Thank you so much. We have driven this one here, the C-Class, already in normal versions. Two different videos, tune in there. Well, and if I'm team four or six cylinder, I will decide after we have driven the C43.